Written by Dr. Yasim Ayaviv. Innovation Ecosystems While in 2011 there were only two files linking the words innovation and ecosystem, these two words now appear side by side in the media several times a day. For most people now responsible for technology transfer, the innovation ecosystem consists of researchers, funders, investors, and entrepreneurs. The researcher invents and sometimes applies for a patent to protect his invention. The technology transfer can then be carried out by the researcher himself, either to a company that will make commercial use of the research results, or to a transfer unit. A Swiss engineer and entrepreneur teach as many people as possible to stabilize this system. It also offers a game for people to learn how to make an innovation successful. The innovation ecosystem for competitiveness clusters consists of large groups, researchers. The stability of the system depends on the degree to which research results are integrated by large groups. It also depends on the ability of researchers to be entrepreneurs and the flexibility of SMEs who must adapt their products to the needs of large groups. For the government's competitiveness department, the innovation ecosystem is represented by a flower associated with talent and ideas, rooted in the financing system. This flower, consisting of three petals for companies, research institutions, and education centers, has taken root in the region. It is fed by leaves, which are also customers and suppliers. Some concepts have emerged, such as intellectual capital, stakeholders, or expanded NTARPIs introduced by corporate social responsibility and knowledge management. However, we do not understand how this flower is pollinated in order to bear fruit, which are material and spiritual values that all participants will share. This is the point we need to understand. This representation clearly integrates the two aspects of sustainable development, the economic and the social. Technical methods and tools. The lasting success of all participants in the innovation process described earlier requires a more complete representation of innovation ecosystems. Because each component also creates an ecosystem. Therefore, it is necessary to achieve and maintain a balance in these ecosystems in order to positively influence the development of companies, regions, countries, and society. Also, a definition of innovation states, the creation, development, exchange and transformation of ideas into products and services for the success of companies, the vitality of the country's economy, the advancement of society. It gives a more complete representation of innovation ecosystems. The main elements are theoretical and applied research, companies and organizations, information and communication technologies, and information processing environments that support real-time learning and instant application of knowledge. The whole is embedded in the milieu of political, economic, and cultural systems. Everything must act in synergy with biological ecosystems. Environment also represents a region, a country, or a society. In this representation, all the elements themselves are ecosystems provided by a constant interaction. Innovation is an attitude of all actors, not just researchers. An underlying idea of a process can arise in this environment at any time and in any place. Generally, researchers develop their ideas or those imposed by lab managers and sometimes present results to companies. Another is the problems to be solved that pose very interesting challenges for research. An organization seeking a solution to a particular problem offers a research contract to a laboratory. By trying to answer these challenges, connections are established between fields and sometimes a new research area may emerge. Thus, new professions are created. Written by Dr. Yasim Ayaviv.